All right, everybody. All right, Zane from Really Easy AI, and it is time to talk about the elephant in the room. Um, we need to address the safety concerns that are coming up with OpenAI. Uh, I don't really think it's going to be a huge issue. I think there, there's going to be plenty of oversight and things, competition from other companies, and so on and so forth. Um, let me give you my position, though, all up. I think that there are bad actors everywhere, and so no matter what you do, you're going to have an AI that's going to go rogue, I guess, right? And, and it'll probably be by design when it happens. So even today, you have various hacking tools and things of that nature that um, use AI that are meant to do bad things. And that's just going to continue. There's a there's a yin and a yang to everything, right? There's good and bad everywhere. And what we're looking at is we're trying to do good, but there's going to be bad actors. The way we're going to combat that, of course, is with good stuff. So people will come up with bad AI, we'll come up with good AI, and the ongoing battle between good and evil continues. Having said that, Let's take a look at what happened uh, last week. Uh, today, uh, I, when you guys see this, it should be May the 19th. So this is last week, and this is kind of interesting. So last Tuesday, this article came out on TechCrunch. Ilya Suskover, OpenAI co-founder and longtime chief scientist, departs. Okay, well, we kind of saw that one coming, right? Ever since the uprising... It was inevitable he was going to leave. Um, it looks like they timed it to coincide with all the stuff going with Google I.O. and you know OpenAI's announcements about the new model and all that stuff so that it all just kind of got mixed up in the wash, which is a good idea, by the way, from a news perspective because it kind of got lost and drowned out by everything else going on. But we need to talk about it. So here, Ilya Siskiver, OpenAI's longtime chief scientist and one of his co-founders has left the company. Uh, Sam Altman announced the news on a post on X. Yes, he did. Let's take a look at that post real quick. So here's Sama's post. Ilya and OpenAI are going to part ways. Very sad to me. Ilya is easily one of the great blah, 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 blah. It's the usual stuff you get when, you know, you fired someone or they're they're quitting before, you know, they're being ousted, right? Ilya Siskiver isn't leaving of his own volition. Make no mistake about it. He's telling everybody he's leaving of his own volition. Volition? Let's try that again. Um, and everybody's having a group hug. In fact, I think there's even a picture of him, like, hugging. Uh, but make no mistake about it. This dude, if he could stick around and make those uh, extra bones, he would. But he is not going to be able to because of the BS that went down. So they do the whole, it's sad. Oh, here's Ilya, uh, his post. After almost a decade, I've made the decision to leave OpenAI. The company's trajectory has been nothing short of miraculous, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, again, this is all that, you know, all that group huggy thing you do when you're, when you're being ousted, but you want to make sure you can get another job somewhere else. So, oh, there it is. There's the group hug. Look at that, everybody. You can tell they're just bosom buddies. I bet they're going to go out drinking afterwards. They have a whole bunch of Youngling, by the way. Youngling, very good beer. Um, but, no, I guarantee the minute this thing was done, they all went, okay, well, that's done. Get the hell out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's going down. Uh, let's talk about his replacement. Replacing Suskiver is Jacob Pachoki. Uh, OpenAI's director of research. Uh, he joined in 2017 as a research lead on OpenAI's Dota team. I didn't know they had a Dota team. But they actually built an AI capable of defeating human players at uh, Dota, Dota 2, right? Uh, it wasn't immediately clear if uh, Pachoki would also take over as head of OpenAI's super alignment team, which was until now under the purview of Siskiver and Jan Leakey. Now we'll get to his, uh, Leakey's stuff in a minute. Now, hang on, let's talk about the super alignment team for a second. That I did know about and have known about for a while. So if you're not aware, OpenAI has a super alignment team, and that team's job is simple. 
to make sure that AI, as we proceed from artificial narrow intelligence to artificial general intelligence to artificial super intelligence, that AI is aligned with human goals, right? So that the AI that's created um, is working to the benefit of humanity. Because one of the biggest fears we have, and it's a legitimate one, is that you'll get AGI and more scary ASI, artificial superintelligence, where the AI doesn't care about humanity and is doing what it thinks it needs to do, a la Skynet, right, from Terminator. So, yeah, that's what this super alignment team is doing. It's Think of it as like the ultimate safety team to take the big picture view of what AI is going to do and make sure that um, when it finally reaches artificial super intelligence, which it will, uh, then, you know, that it it's, thinks that humans are good and, and aligns with human goals. Um, that's the goal there of, the, of that team. So you got stuff going on here. Uh, here, OpenAI formed the super alignment team in July to develop ways to steer, regulate, and govern super intelligent AI. That's right. Uh, that is theoretical, so that's not the, I mean, yes, it's theoretical right now, but there's, you know, there's a 100% probability that superintelligence will be achieved. We're almost AGI now. I, I've long believed they have AGI, they just haven't exposed it. And by the way, I'm not alone. Uh, Elon Musk believes it too, so much so that he's filed a lawsuit. I think that OpenAI has AGI. I think they've been using it. And I think they're just giving us drips and drops to get us used to the idea of an AGI world. And once AGI is achieved, depending on how much data we allow the AI to have, it won't be that long. The distance between artificial narrow intelligence, everything you know today is AI, by the way, falls under artificial narrow intelligence. And AGI has been pretty big. I mean, we've had uh, the, the concept of AI has been around since what, the 50s. Um, but and so that's, it's been a while. But the distance between once we achieve AGI and really let the AI have access to data and artificial superintelligence, ASI, is going to be radically short. Very, very short compared to you know it won't it probably won't even be a decade between AGI and ASI probably more like five years or so, so you you got to keep those things in mind um, because the the biggest hurdle was going from artificial narrow intelligence to AGI, uh, but from AGI to ASI it's a pretty easy leap. All right. So that's pretty much it. And then more blah, blah, blah. Another group huggy. Okay, got it. So now uh, we did that. Now that's Tuesday. This all went down on Tuesday. Now let's go to Thursday. Open AI staffers responsible for safety are jumping ship. What? <laughs> Sam Altman's AI startup recently lost uh, several key members of its super alignment team, which was supposed to ensure AI doesn't go rogue. So now we're into Thursday. So Tuesday happens Ilya leaves Wednesday goes by nothing Thursday bam all of a sudden a bunch of people are gone open a uh, here they talk about super alignment team we already know about that um, let's see da -da -da. naturally many people were concerned oh, well let's, let's lead with this open AI launched a super alignment team almost a year ago with the ultimate goal of controlling hypothetical super intelligent AI systems and preventing them from turning against humans Naturally, many people were concerned, why did a team like this need to exist in the first place? Now, something more concerning has occurred. The team's leaders, Ilya Siskiver and Jan, Jan Leakey, have quit OpenAI. That's right, they're gone. The res resignation of Super Alignment's leadership is the latest in a series of notable departures from the company, some of which came from within Siskiver and Leakey's safety-focused team. Back in November of 2023, Siskiver and OpenAI's board led a failed effort to oust CEO Sam Altman. Six months later, several OpenAI staff members have left the company that were either outspoken about AI safety or worked on key safety teams. Uh, Siskiver uh, ended up apologizing and signed a letter. And this is where things get interesting. Somebody pointed out that pretty much, or I think... Uh, 
most, if not all, of the people who have left were either not signatories on that letter uh, saying, you know, hey, you know, uh, they uh, wanted to restate Sam Altman or were slow to sign the letter, right? Didn't sign it right away. Uh, so that's interesting, too. So you've got a, a very interesting thing going on. And uh, that's what's happening there. So you've got a lot of people quitting. The names of the super alignment team members, Jan Leakey, Leopold Asperer, and William Saunders, who have since quit, do not appear alongside more than 700 other OpenAI staffers showing support for Altman and Brockman in the Times copy. World-renowned AI researcher Andre Karpathy and former OpenAI staffers Daniel Cocagillo and Cullen O'Keefe also do not appear in this early version of the letter and have since left OpenAI. These individuals may have signed the later version of the letter to signal support, but if so, they seem to have been the last to do it. See, that's what we're... So they're cleaning house is what it looks like. Um, and it looks like most of the concerns were on the safety side for some reason. And again, I think it's because they know potentially what we don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, what else? More broadly, safety at OpenAI has always been a divisive issue. That's what caused Dario and Daniela Modi in 2021 to start their own AI company, Anthropic. Did you know that, by the way? Did you know Anthropic was started by two OpenAI alums? Uh, and it was along safety issues that they left, along nine other former OpenAI staffers. The safety concerns were also what reportedly led OpenAI's nonprofit board members to oust Altman and Brockman. The board members were replaced with some infamous Silicon Valley entrepreneurs. Okay. All right, so you get the gist. Now, let's take a look at Jan Leakey's uh, post on X, because I think it's telling. So here we go. This is Friday, by the way, because today's Saturday, and this is 19 hours ago. Uh, yesterday was my last day as head of alignments, uh, super uh, head of alignment, super alignment lead, and executive at OpenAI. Uh, it's been such a wild journey over the past three years. My team launched the first ever reinforcement learning with human feedback LLM with Instruct GPT. Published the first scalable oversight on LLMs, pioneered automated interpretability, and so on and so forth. Uh, I love my team. I'm so grateful for many amazing people. See, again, the usual, right? Stepping away from this job is one of the hardest things I've ever done because we urgently need to figure out how to steer and control AI systems much smarter than us. I joined because I thought OpenAI would be the best place in the world to do this research. However, I've been disagreeing with the OpenAI leadership about the company's core priorities for quite some time until we finally reached a breaking point. So this dude's really laying it out. I believe much more bandwidth should be spent getting ready for the next generation of models on security, monitoring, preparedness, safety, adversarial robustness, super alignment, confidentiality, societal impact, and related topics. These problems are quite hard to get right, and I'm concerned we aren't on a trajectory to get there. Over the past few months, my team has been sailing against the wind. Sometimes we were struggling for compute, and it was getting harder and harder to get this crucial, crucial research done. Building smarter than human machines is an inherently dangerous endeavor. OpenAI uh, is shouldering an enormous responsibility on behalf of all humanity. Over the past years, safety culture and process have taken a backseat to shiny products. Ooh, whoa, that is a dig. We are long overdue in getting incredibly serious about the implications of AGI. We must prioritize preparing for them as best we can. Only then can we ensure AGI benefits all humanity. So this dude, he's, he is pissed. OpenAI must become a safety first AGI company. And then he writes a letter. To all OpenAI employees, I want to say, learn to feel the AGI. Act with gravitas appropriate for what you're building. I believe you can ship the cultural change that's needed. This is, this is an interesting line here. I'm counting on you. The world is counting on you. Cult ship the cultural change? I'm not sure what he means by that. And then you got a ton of replies. Some good, some, you know, some praising him, some saying, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you stay there and fight the good fight? And on and on and on it goes. But you get the idea. So there's a big safety question mark. Um, and I believe that safety question mark's above all 
AI, right? Are we going to be able to control it? No, the genie's out of the bottle. Uh, I think that uh, you can make best effort, and I think they're all trying to do that at some level. Um, I think we're going to have an event where AI will you know, be used for bad things, and at that point we'll have to see what happens. Either we get Skynet or Skynet comes, but we have something called you know, anti-Skynet that defeats it, which is the more likely scenario, by the way. Uh, the, the battle between good and evil continues. It's perpetual. All right, boys and girls, well, hopefully you like that. Uh, I'll include the links in the description, and you can check these stories out for yourself. And this is Zane. I'll see you next time. I almost forgot. I completely forgot um, to mention this. Uh, in the replies to Jan's leaving, somebody had a really cool graphic I wanted to show you guys. So here's a timeline of OpenAI safety experts uh, that keep jumping ship. So you've got 2021, the team leads re resign over safety concerns. That's Dario and Dan Daniela Modi. Um, they believe the probability, that's what PDU means, probability of doom is 10 to 25 percent. That's back in 2021. In 2021, the reinforcement learning for human feedback safety research lead designs, Dr. Paul Cristiano, inventor of reinforcement learning human feedback, resigns from OpenAI's safety team to start the Alignment Research Center, independent nonprofit. Cristiano started, stated in an interview that his PDUM is 50 percent. Probability of doom, 50%. 2023, OpenAI board fires CEO Sam Altman. Co-founder Ilya Siskiver sides with board to vote to terminate. The nonprofit's board mission is to ensure safe, beneficial AGI. 2024, OpenAI fires two safety researchers. Leopold Ashbrenner and Pavel Ismailov were fired for allegedly leaking information. Ashbrenner was seen as a rising star and close ally of Ilya. 2024, Concerned safety researcher designs, uh, resigns. Daniel Cochigillo resigns due to losing confidence that OpenAI would uh, behave responsibly around the time of AGI. He stated his PDOOM is 70% probability of doom. 2024, Chief Scientist Ilya Siskiver resigns, or really was kicked out. And 2024, Lead Jan Leakey resigns. So we went over that. His PDOOM is between 10 and 90%. Wow, way to, way to ride that fence, buddy. But anyway, there you have it. Uh, very, very cool little graphic. Uh, don't know where they got it from, but whoever put this together did a good job. So anyway, that's it. Just wanted to add that in. See you next time.